Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce the topic transducers. So, what do you mean by transducer? What are the types of transducers? And what are their definitions? On what basis they have been classified? Here we are going to see. So, transducer is nothing but which is a device used to convert one form of energy into another form. So, a transducer is a device that converts one form of energy to other form. It is a device which converts a physical quantity to be measured into an electrical equivalent quantity. Voltage or current. Suppose take, uh, take any pressure or volume that will be converted into a voltage or current. Uh, that means we are going to calculate any type of physical quantity like a force, uh, pressure or volume, whatever it is, any physical quantity that will be converted into an electrical parameter like voltage or current. So, in other words, it is a device that is capable of converting the physical quantity into a proportional electrical quantity such as voltage or current at the same point. So, there are two types of transducers. They are active transducers and passive transducers. Active transducer, passive transducers. So, what do you mean by active transducer? What type of transducers you can call it as active transducers and what type of transducers you can call them as passive transducer? Can you, before going into the active and passive transducers, so can you uh, please tell me what is the example of a transducer? Suppose in general daily life we are seeing lot of uh, uh, electrical devices or electronic devices among them which can be treated as a transducer. <coughs> so, if you say a transducer is nothing but uh, suppose every day we are using fan without fan we cannot stay so fan every day we are using this fan is a transducer or not fan is definitely a transducer because it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy that means it takes the current and gives the motion that so it is a transducer it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy so it is a transducer and take light every day whatever we are using every device comes under transducer so light what is the light what is light, how the light becomes a transducer it converts electrical energy into optical energy light energy it converts electrical energy into light energy and take a motor take motor take generator okay so take any type of equipment which we, which we can use generally so that comes under a transducer so motor means how it is also electrical to mechanical generator means it is mechanical to electrical so all these are which are converting generally which are converting any type of uh, energy from one form to another form is nothing but a transducer so coming to active transducer Active transducers are nothing but active transducers do not need any external source of power for their operation. So, there are two types of uh, transducers as I said active and passive. So, active means the device to operate, a, a transducer to operate, it doesn't need any external power supply. Suppose if we are providing external power supply, internal quantity, internal uh, parameters of the transducer, they are not active enough, definitely they need a power supply. So, such type of transducers comes under uh, passive transducers, but whereas the transducers which do not actually require any power supply to operate, they then they themselves uh, provide some amount of uh, uh, any type of electrical uh, parameter like voltage or current by applying some physical quantity without any external power supply such type of uh, transducers are known as active transducers so active transducers do not need any external source do not need do not need any external source of power for their operation. Therefore, they are also called as self-generating type transducers. So, that's what I am saying. It doesn't need any external power supply. So, definitely it comes under self-generating transducers. 
So the active transducers are self-generating devices which operate under the energy conversion principle. Energy conversion principle, so one form of energy into another form. And as the output of active transducer, we get an equivalent electrical output signal, example temperature or strain to electric potential without any external source of energy being used. <coughs> so, before going into the uh, passive transducer, what are the internal classifications of the active transducer we have to see. So, active transducers are classified into different types, broad varieties are there which are depending upon the type of application and type of uses. So, active transducers are broadly classified into photovoltaic cell, thermoelectric, electromagnetic, piezoelectric, chemical, uh, active transducers and all different types of transducers. So, photovoltaic cell, it is completely related to uh, light, so photo is nothing but light and thermoelectric, it is related to heat, tem temperature and electromagnetic, it is a conversion of electrical magnetic energy into some electrical energy and the piezoelectric device it converts a pressure to electrical form and some chemical energy so the different types of uh, physical quantities we are taking into consideration and converting back them into electrical or electrical quantities like voltage or current for our convenient way okay this is what the active transducers now coming to passive transducer i already told you uh, what is the difference between passive and active transducer? Passive transducers, passive transducer does not, does, sorry, it does, it consists of active transducer. Passive transducer definitely need, uh, passive transducer definitely need a power supply. Okay, if we don't need, then it comes under uh, uh, active transducer. So, passive transducers need external supply. Passive transducers need external supply. Definitely it needs supply. Without external supply, it cannot operate. Okay. So, passive transducers, see the classification of passive transducers. These transducers need external power supply external source of power for their operation so they are not self generating type transducer self generating when we call it as a self generating type if they are having and they no need of external source they can settle the energy themselves so they are then they are will be self generating type and a dc power supply or an audio frequency generator is used as an external power source here we need to uh, see what type of voltage sources are generally needed for this piezoelectric transducer see here one is either dc supply one is either we can use a dc power supply or we can also use a low frequency generator nothing but again some sinusoidal signal or whatever it is but here we are using only audio frequency range 20 hz to 20 kilohertz okay no need of radio frequency generators that much of high frequency generators we no need the only uh, either dc supply or nothing but zero frequency signal or it may be also an audio frequency signal that can that can be used as an external power supply and these transducers produce the output signal in the form of variation in resistance capacitance inductance or some other electrical parameters in response to the quality in response to the quantity of measure quantity to be measured see what is the meaning of this line these transducers produce the output signal in the form of variation in the resistance capacitance and inductance here we are, we are not measuring the values current or voltage directly like in the previous case of active transducers but passive transducers definitely depend on a particular parameter it depends on a component those components are nothing but resistance capacitance and inductance so the variations of these resistance value or variations variation of capacitance value or variation of inductance value if we take consider then it will be uh, used to measure the physical quantity variation okay without taking any on without taking the help of any of these parameters passive transducer change cannot be measured so how to classify a passive transducer uh, in the as in the case of active transducer we have classified 
the active transducers depending upon the different types of uh, uh, measurement we are taking uh, whether it is a temperature or a force or humidity or uh, pressure whatever it is uh, that classifies the active transducer but in the passive transducer passive transducers are variable resistor variable reactance optoelectric and hall effect type so here we are using two types of in this uh, subject we may discuss variable resistance type and variable reactance types okay so variable resistance type if we consider there are again four different types of uh, uh, measurements of this physical parameters with the help of strain gauge thermistor auto uh, uh, potentiometric method and one is a photo conductor so light dependent resistor so thermistor for potentiometric device and a photo conductor so if we take a variable reactance type it comes under variable reactance reactance is nothing but either capacitive or inductive so inductance variation and capacitance variation so variable reactance inductance variation that comes under variable reluctance or variable permeability or calvinity this is very 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 important i will tell you when we go into the concept and optoelectric photo emissive or photo conductive that depends on the light and the one is hall effect so these are the different types of active and passive transducers and their classifications thank you